Hi everyone. As she mentioned, I'm one of those independent women who also made the trip back to Goa, or rather the return back to her homeland after living in Bombay for 50 years. So my uh, story, or rather essay, is called A Bombay Car in Goa. Before I read it, I just want to very quickly say I am very proud of being part of the Goa Writers Group and also of having an essay published in Ways of Belonging, which if any of you know is uh, a book of poems by easily one of my most famous relatives, Eunice D'Souza. So having my name besides Ways of Belonging is quite, is quite a thrill. Sorry, I'm nervous, so my voice is shaking. A Babaikar in Goa. Her name was Duel. We bonded over a shared name, a birth one and my middle one, and common educated English accents. As a shy and misunderstood teenager, awkwardly dealing with growing pains, I admired her confidence. She had poise and carried herself with pride that reflected a good posture. We were the same age, but she seemed older, more mature. Her fashion sense wasn't conservative or understated and went beyond the frilly dresses and petticoats I had to wear. She spoke well too, each word serving its purpose and with no unnecessary fillers. Her English was the cultured kind and one that hinted at a good education, better opportunities and more life experience. She embodied the confidence and freedom that I, a mere village girl, had only encountered between the pages of books and in English serials. I think I had a crush on her. It wasn't anything romantic, I just wanted to be her. I grew up in a tiny village called Kamurli in the north of Goa. It was far from the beaches and nightlife that gave this little state its badge of popularity. I had a normal childhood. Though I was born in Pune and my parents lived in Dubai for a brief while, my childhood was spent in Kamundi. We went for long walks through muddy fields, jostled for space in crowded and creaking buses, stole fruit from trees and spent our evenings doing homework in our bulk cow. My house was old. We had a big garden, a telephone that didn't always work, a spotty Dutashan connection, a tile roof regularly broken by monkeys and a cramped library. It was a time before internet and cable TV, so our connection to the outside world was through school and bazaar visits. As a joint family of proud Catholics, the village church was our playground, our temple, our hangout spot, our school, and our source of entertainment. The biggest religious celebration of the year was the feast of our patron saint, St. Peter the Cassia, celebrated in May. Uh, the summer months meant holidays from school and we could be part of all those celebrations. It was also the time we welcomed, with much enthusiasm, the rare species from out of town, the Bomaikas. Luel was a Bomaikar and I wanted to be her. Two decades later, I achieved that dream, work got me to Bombay and I became a Bomaikar. And I hated it. For the rest, you'll have to buy the copy. <laughs> Thank you.